many trips, and we'll probably talk about it in the talk. And um, thank you for coming today to our artist talk and joining us on this very, very, very hot day. <laughs> Take it away, Clem. Thank you, Nicole. <laughs> So thanks everybody for coming out to the Third Street Gallery. Uh, I'm Clem Da Vinci, and this is my second feature show here, and it's one that I've been kind of wanting to do for a while, and never really had enough room to do it. But I wanted to do Philadelphia and Italy side by side, so you could see a comparison between the two. And uh, the one in the middle is sort of the connection between the two. Last year, my wife and I went to where my family is from in Calabria, Italy, and um, we met the people that live in the house that my grandfather grew up in, which is this house. I took a photo of her as we were leaving, and um, we went and had some cappuccino and some biscottis with her, and it, she uh, told us about our family and all. I don't know if you noticed, but these are all prints. Besides being a painter, I, I pretty much print all day, too. So uh, there's a couple of reasons why I went with prints this time. One being that I don't have all these originals, so I wouldn't be able to do the full Italy, Philly. And, but I did bring originals in there up to the side here. Um, so it's a little different than normal. Uh, these are basically printed a little larger than the board. The boards are like a, um, similar to canvas, and they're, um, they're like a birch board. So what I'm doing is I'm um, attaching them to the board with an acrylic medium. Then I put them, you know, like down with books and heavy weights, and I let them sit overnight for about 12 to 16 hours. After that, I cut them to the size, and I spray them two layers of UV mat, and then I put on about six or seven layers of, uh, of varnish. And then I added one other layer on these with uh, a wax medium, because they, they came out a little too shiny, so I wanted to cut them back a little bit and make it a little more matte looking, more um, watercolor-like. Uh, so, of course, you can see I like painting Philadelphia and, Phil and Italy, a lot of the places here and I've been to. And, um, some of these are from uh, plain air. Most of them I do in the studio. Most of the work I do in studio. Yeah? Question. The Italy ones have yes. a lot more evident passion and color. Yeah. Well, Italy is a very passionate place. <laughs> well, my, well, my question is, is that a reflection of you? Um, it could be. You know, I guess I see it as a very colorful, a colorful destination. Yeah. And Philly's a little grittier. And <laughs> it has its own colorful areas, but, you know. Yes? How long did it take you to, to finish this? setting of uh, Italy. Uh, I think you have 12 or 13 paintings. Uh, well, they were probably done over the course of two years. Each one is probably about a week. Uh, you know, it's some prep work and fiddling with them. Yeah. Are any of the, um, or some of the Italy paintings done plan Did you work outdoors in Italy as well? No, no. Okay. They were all from photos, some from photos people sent me. Is there a time period between the Philadelphia and the Italy pictures? I mean, did you do these at, you know, a decade ago, and these in the last five years, or, um, or just all over the map? Most of these were done in the last two years. Most of them done last year. Same, same with the Italy. I don't have any of the really old ones. He might be in there. I'd, I did quite a few from long ago, but these are all pretty new, relatively within the last two years. Yeah. Are some of these your own photos? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A couple of them are, you know, they're like this is Malta. My mother's side of the family is from Malta. 
So we did go there and visit where her family was from last year, too. It was sort of a heritage tour. We went to like the town in Italy where my grandparents are from. It's like a little town in very south Italy. Uh, it's called Maida. And it's like in the little, like in the toe of the boot of Italy. So very close to Sicily. And um, so we took a, a ferry from Calabria over to Sicily and then from Sicily over to Maida. Both you can get to both of them with a with a ferry. Yes. I, I noticed in your previous show and this show, there's a lot of landscape kinds of things. And that is my you favorite. enjoy that more? I do enjoy that. As yeah. opposed to individual people kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, I do have some that are people, but not do this you show. Enjoy this I, do, I like this more. a lot. Yeah. It's a little mm -hmm. more freedom and abstract. They can be a little tighter, and you, know, you have to get really mm -hmm. tight with the portraits and all. I have done some portraits of family members. Um, yeah. is, is, um, is one of the reasons for focusing on prints that they're more color fast in the light? Like, how do, are modern watercolors now fairly color fast? Do they fade if you hang them over time? Or? They will fade, yeah. Some pigments more than others. Yeah, I I've been spraying the originals now too with a UV spray. Depends on, you know, like where you put them or if you have them behind glass. Mm -hmm. A lot of the ones I had last year, I put them behind a UV glass. Mm -hmm. That was the other reason I did this way too, because Jim was filming last year and there was reflection in the glass. And I think you can get a little, you know, you can get closer with them, you can see them a little better this way. Like putting up the uh, yeah. and, the, and the UV spray doesn't that leaves the paper still with the same sheen, not not shiny. Yeah, you don't. It, it dries. You can't tell it's on there. The UV, the varnish does make them a little darker. That's what I've kind of learned from. Yes, Nicole. The two side by side <coughs> um, in regards to color, mm -hmm. and the idea that uh, <coughs> Billy is prettier and prettier. But I think probably if you put most of your work from different places side by side, you would see the differences. Yeah. Because when we live in certain places, mm -hmm. like we're living in the city right now with brown brick buildings, mm -hmm. with, um, you know, like when you look at the Italy pictures, it looks like most of the places are painted white or light colors um, with colorful roofs, so the lights are refracting more. Right. Um, and not absorbing. So it just suggests the different location of the place um, in terms of like the geography, but also the culture, the way we paint things, how we build things. Philadelphia, I don't think it's a lack of enthusiasm for Philadelphia, but more of like the state in which we are in a city. Right. We have lots of people, a dense city. Our buildings are in brick which is not exactly the most colorful no. in the world, you know. So I think um, it's interesting to see the culture and the color in the different places based on where they are and what type of places they are. Obviously, this is more coastal, mm -hmm. you know, um, and here we've got right. the big skyscrapers, so we're they're also all, kind of... They're all blue and yeah. whatever color the sky is at the time. But yeah, yeah, like certain places are a little more colorful, like, like Cinque Terre and, and Positano, the houses are all painted with very bright colors and all. We're feeling, you know, like you said, it's all brick and, uh, <coughs> and glass and beiges. Mm -hmm. Do you have a size preference? I always paint 12 by 16, actually. And the size preference is based on my scanner. That's as large as I can scan. I, I mean, I, I did larger ones, but it's, you know, you gotta piece, you gotta put them in Photoshop and piece them all together, and it's, it's a pain right now. I've been searching for a scanner that'll scan larger, that will enable me to paint larger without the hassle of putting them back together. Thank you all. I appreciate you coming out. Yeah.